Tom Deal Doberman with the 4D Society. How the heck are you doing there, ma'am? I'm good. What's a 4D? The dollars to donors for dogs with dementia. We actually help dogs who don't know who they are. Now these dogs, we raise them, we show them how to uh, raise their legs and then how to pee, where to pee, when to pee, why to pee. frozen shoulder or alias known as adhesive capsulitis. That was me you saw trying to put on my jacket. That was about a level three pain, but I've actually had up to level five and on two occasions level eight pain, just moving around and I kind of twisted the wrong way, I think. But anyways, um, just like to show you where I am here. This, I can do this with my hand, my right hand, but I can only go about this far with my left. I can go out this far here, as you can see here, I can go there, back here, I can only go to about there, this one I can go way back, I only put that here, if I were to raise my hands, that's as far as I can go with that uh, frozen shoulder. So anyways, I did a lot of research and found Dr. Austin, not only research on YouTube, but also medical journals and blogs and also understanding the fact that he has helped a lot of uh, well-known actors and athletes so I'm looking forward to this. My wife has really had a difficult time because she's had to do a lot of the housework, but um, both of us just keep trying to work with it until we go see Dr. Austin in Toronto, Canada. So the benefit for you guys is that it's gonna take about five seconds or seven seconds total. But uh, for us, it's gonna take several hours, of course, but we have technology. Anyways, we'll see you in Toronto. So the doctor explained to us and his assistant in the office there that um, he's going to get a procedure where they're going to redirect the pain signals to his shoulder. First we have to go to the anesthesiologist and they'll get a, give him a shot in the back, in the shoulder area and for pain. And then we'll go to the clinic and he will do the trigenics on him, redirect the pain signals, and then he's going to separate the tissue that is causing his arm to be frozen. So we're looking forward to that. No more pain, hopefully good recovery. Here's a very interesting illustration that Dr. Austin used. Uh, this is your shoulder, let's say, and this is the joint. So when the joint moves, shoulder goes up. Once again, it moves, shoulder goes up, and this is me. And I don't, I don't care where you're from, where you live, who you are, that's got to hurt. Goodbye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. With my frozen shoulder, I learned that my body began to protect my shoulder joint by laying down large amounts of scar tissue or very hard tissue around the entire shoulder joint. Going down all the way. 
Good job, John. squeezing your hands together, make a solid piece, and support him like that. Right there. Yep, with a straight arm. Don't squeeze your fingers together. A little bit lower. Don't squeeze your fingers together. Just support it. There you go. Straight arm. Put your body weight into it. There you go. Okay, good. Now, breathing, John. As you breathe out, push into the wall for six seconds. One thousand. With what is Two thousand. With your hands. 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. Okay, good for you. Breathing, go. And relax. There. You see? Wow. Now it's going. That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> Let me see. Now it's going, you see? Right? Good job. Honey. That's really up there now. Well, it's amazing. Four days ago, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be, I'd be dead. Yeah. What, what shocked me this morning was putting my jacket on because on the video that you're going to see in my documentary, you see me, the toughness of trying to put this thing on. And my wife wasn't there, so I had to hang on these knobs. And then... That was a level three pain, but I've had up to a level seven. Mm -hmm. So this morning I get up like this, and I'm like, reach back here. And that was like a level, <laughs> not even a one pain. I was shocked, you, you know, so. Put it on normally, basically. Yeah, because we followed your directions mm -hmm. to the letter. Good. You what know, about so your belt? Remember your belt? My belt, I go, and at least Couldn't another get two, belt almost on. three more loops. So, so that was a tango, huh? <laughs> Well, that's a tango. Yeah. You see, they're dancing. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I got yeah. it. I got it. I got it. Thank you right. so much. Oh, oh. Pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. She, she must love me, you know, to do all this and have to come here. So for me, you know. Mm -hmm. so. We've been married 33 years. 33 years. Plus, plus tax. Years. No, wow. this joke. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really happy. This is great. Thank you. Really Thank great. you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. This is Coley. He's our one of our little dogs. We've got a big dog, actually. I'd um, like to talk to you about something that happened four days, more or less four or five days after the procedure, after I got back home. Uh, we have two cars. We have a van, which I like to have most of the time, but I don't get most of the time. And then we have this green car here, and it's a Toyota 95 Corolla, and the thing just keeps going and going and going. The other day, I, I pulled in the driveway, and normally when I would pull in the driveway, I had to roll down the window with my right arm, and then I'd lean over and have to open it because it doesn't open up unless you open it from the outside. It, it's broken somehow. And so I pulled up this time, and without even realizing it, I used my bad arm and opened it right up, and it just I, I was blown away. But... Uh, that's just one of the many things, and in here in a couple of days, I'm going to show you some other range of movement that I have. Right, Chloe? <laughs> Anyways. This is Mango, our lovebird, and she would like to say something. Right? Well, I guess not. Anyways, sometimes she bites my moles. I got a mole, like, right back here, and she'll just bite at it, and I almost scream at her because it hurts so much, but she's funny. Anyways, that's not why I'm here. I'm going to show you something with this radio. The progress I've made before I came to Dr. Austin last Wednesday, if I were to have tried to put this radio right here on this shelf, it would have looked something like this. I would have brought it up, it would have been shaking, I would have put it here, and then in a level 7 or 8 pain, I would have been moaning like this. Because I was trying things like that, it was extremely difficult. But now, I'll take a look. I can also do this, and I can do this, and if I stand on my tippy toes, I can do this. 
Now, to be honest, putting that up there was about a level three, maybe three and a half pain, but I'm still working with my physical therapy or my exercises. But you've got to admit, after seven days exactly, going from here shaking and in pain to going up there with little pain, it's uh, from significant uh, advancement. So I'm pretty happy about that. So if you visited Dr. Austin, you're going through the exercises right now, stick with them, pay more attention to what you could not do before as opposed to what you can do now, and it's gonna help you a lot. So now you might be wondering why my dog Bear has anything to do with the frozen shoulder. Well, let me tell you. Um, he has a tendency when we're sleeping to stick his nose underneath our arm and then yank up really hard. And either he wants to go to the bathroom or he wants something to eat and he drives us crazy. But one day I was sitting at my desk and I had my arms up like this and he had nothing underneath. It was just pure air. And so I didn't realize it until he just had his nose under there and yanked like this. I went screaming ah! in through the living room, into my bedroom. I didn't want to see him. I didn't want to confront him. I was so upset. I had a level 10 pain and I get that often or I got that often when, for example, if I had something, I dropped it and I went to grab it really quick, uh, a level 10 pain, I'd start screaming. I couldn't even hold my cell phone up without pain. And of course, as you know, my extension, I couldn't reach things at all. I mean, I get 25%. And so uh, the videos that you're about to see are things, chores that I had to do that took place between December 12th and December 19th, just to give you an idea of my progress. And I probably should uh, mention the most important thing that I needed to lift and I probably would not have been able to do so if it had not been for Dr. Austin, but uh, I had to lift the most important thing. And what is that? Well, my dog wants to get his few seconds of fame, so that's what you'll see next. And then you're gonna see my wife She'll be talking to you about, it'll be one month from my procedure and she'll let you know how my progress is doing. He doesn't remember as far, a lot of the actual procedure as far as pain goes. He remembers short bursts of pain with the procedure because he was sedated, but he was awake during the procedure. After four months of having that condition, which was very painful, um, he couldn't sleep very many hours at night, so having difficulty with that, couldn't lift things, couldn't, couldn't move his arm. It was very limiting and put a burden on me too, actually, having to do the things that he couldn't do. But it was really sad for me to watch him not be able to sleep and to be in pain most of the time. So we were grateful to have the hope of a treatment that would work for him with a minimal amount of recovery period. So now I'm happy to say that he's getting six to seven hours of sleep, which is good for me to see. Makes me get more sleep too. The exercises that he's doing are getting easier to the point where now he can do them with minimal pain. Dr. Austin is very skilled. His staff is very skilled. Um, they made so much difference. 
I'm very grateful that John got this treatment rather than some of the other conventional treatments or surgery. John is able to do so many things he wasn't able to do before. Um, one of them is drive our standard car to the coast to see our brand newborn nephew. So that was exciting and him being able to, um, you know, lift his arms, lift things. It's incredible. So I'm very grateful. Thank you to all of the staff at uh, Dr. Austin's clinic and to the doctor himself. So thank you very much. I'm grateful for all of it and I would recommend this procedure to anyone who's suffering from frozen shoulder. Oh, and four days after the procedure, we got to go to see one of the wonders of the world.